Perez. All right, Brian, 632. You know, you all know somebody who treats their pets like their own children. Mm -hmm. That's why Milwaukee officers were heartbroken to find a dog abandoned for days in a cold pickup truck. Our Julia Fellow and photojournalist Jim Angeli actually spotted the rescue in action. And Julia joins us live now with more on this story. Julia, good morning. That's right, and I'm with him today as well. We happen to just capture this rescue in progress, and that truck is actually still here today, abandoned, as more tickets continue to pile up on this hood. The concerned caller said that the dog had been inside of this car for several days. We were there just in time to see police breaking into the truck at South 17th and National. A concerned caller told officers a dog inside had been abandoned for at least four days. Parking tickets on the windshield show it had been there since Saturday. There was no food or water inside, and the seats were soiled with feces. Despite all of this, the dog seemed to be in good spirits, and officers took it to the Milwaukee Area Domestic Animal Control Commission, where Dr. Libby Gutting checked him out. She tells us you could call police if you see a dog alone in a car for more than an hour. The animal could suffer from hypothermia. Um, and even pass away from that. So we definitely don't want to leave animals outside in any sort of condition, especially a car that's not running. As for this little guy, Dr. Gutting says he's in great shape. If his owner does not come in to claim him in five days, he could go up for adoption. Our concern is that this person has an issue with the way they're able to take care of their pet, which means they need help. So just to be clear, Maddox does not pick up any endangered animals. The police do. So that's why it's so important if you see some, something like this, like the caller did, to say something immediately. As for this person responsible, they could be facing animal cruelty charges, according to the police captain at District 2 when I spoke to him yesterday. Reporting live at 17th and National, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. All right, Julia, thank you. 634 this morning.